Hi everybody, my name is Jeff Collins from Idea Alliance and welcome to another Idea Alliance video. And today I'm going to discuss why G7 matters. And this is not for a G7 expert or G7 professional. I know if you've been doing this in practice, you know why it matters. So this is for someone that may know a little bit about G7. Maybe you're in sales, maybe your company uh, has services for G7 calibration. Maybe you're a user, a print manufacturer, a creative, or a brand owner, etc. And you're trying to get your head around why this is important. And for me, it was very important because I always knew, and at least I was taught uh, when I was an apprentice way back uh, over 20 years ago, I think. I want to age myself, but I was always taught that gray balance was very important in color reproduction, CMYK color reproduction, photography, as well as monitors for calibration purposes. So there was always that control point, even you know, up early in the supply chain when we're taking photo shoots or we're scanning in 35 millimeter transparencies or we're using a digital camera, like I mentioned before, as a photographer, or I'm a designer. So gray balance is key to calibrating effectively as your eye sees it. So if I'm a photographer, I'm using something like this. I'm using a gray card or a white balance card or a card like this. This is a digital color checker. This is from Gray Tag Macbeth before they were acquired by X-Ray, and now X-Ray has a, another version of this. It's a smaller version called the Color Checker, and I have that as well. So that, what you just saw, this here is uh, also used to profile digital cameras. Man, I'm, I'm going way too fast for you guys. Let me slow down a little bit. In this target, you'll see there's gray boxes or gray swatches all the way around the edges and throughout the center of this profile target. And then if we look back here, well, you can see this back here pretty well. I have gray patches here to identify good gray balance or bad gray balance. I have them on this as well. I also have them here. They're also integrated in this target. And then if we look at this big press sheet, we have three color bars essentially going across from the uh, gear side of the press to the operator side or vice versa and each one of these are used to visually identify good gray balance and my three quarter tones or shadow contrast my mid tones or what we call highlight range in g7 and then we have our highlight contrast or just our highlights so this is addressing gray balance in three key areas through the tonal range and CMYK color reproduction. But the point I need to make or I want to make is that gray balance is a key method to calibrate color so that you're representing what your eye sees as close as possible. And that's my version of it, all right? So let me stop here and just mention a few uh, official definitions of gray balance and color reproduction. And here they are on the screen. And you can hit pause if you want to read this in depth. Now, of course, on certain processes, we don't have a wide color range. So what I see out uh, on a landscape shot uh, through my viewfinder it's calibrated it looks great you know what i see looks like what i see in the viewfinder i take the shot and then i bring it back and then it's printed and it's maybe a little washed out my i don't have those saturated hues you know for blues and greens and reds and things like that and that's due to uh, the press that it's being printed on however um, you can't get around that unless you go to like an extreme gamut or extend, extended color gamut printing process that'll capture those hues. But even in those situations, gray balance is still key because what it's doing is giving you a consistent tonality throughout the image. And if we have that printed on a, a wide gamut device like inkjet or an offset press, uh, we're gonna get a very similar result. The picture's gonna look the same, okay? And again, it's synced all the way through. So digital camera, 
your monitor, and then your press, they're all calibrated, gray balanced. We have very consistent imagery production throughout the supply chain. Well, that's a wrap for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. We hope you found it useful and we appreciate your time. Please connect to us at idalliance.org where you can find content like this video. And we hope you have a wonderful and productive day. Take care.